What's up guys, for today's video I got right here Ranhood module power station or electric generator Why call it electric generator? Because it generates energy and gets stored into this power station by solar panel so it's generating electricity and gets stored so yes power station and electric generator pretty much same thing different way of calling it so let's do unboxing and talk about why this power station stands out from the other ones okay this is the biggest box in here Ooh, it's a charger stuff very well packaged Pretty lightweight, which is really important because it is modular uh, for the needs that I need in power. If I need more power, all I have to do is add on these smaller pieces. Usually, whenever you get a power station over a thousand watt an hour, they are very heavy. All I have to do is get more power. Uh, so there is three more power banks, even lighter than this one almost the same weight honestly so if i only need a little bit of power i can bring just this if i know that i'm going for way longer or maybe i need more power usage for different devices i can bring in other pieces and that way i don't have to carry it all at once i can unload it one at a time or i can uh, spread it around for multiple people to carry it so i don't have to carry it all at once heavy piece okay what else is in here AC engine there's one more okay definitely need to be charged it's only charge on two and there is a five indicators when it's fully charged so what else is in here whoa is that what I think that is that is so cool there's little adapters that goes into here there's a plug-in with the click that is awesome and there is actual plug right here like a wall plug any kind of like a computer and things like that will go into there that is cool and also this side here uh, another plug that goes into there push and lock and there is a USB-C USB that's nice, two USB, two USB-C's and the power output. Oh wow, I just realized it is a removable batteries, which is so nice uh, to replace one of these batteries and put a new one and charge the other ones on. That is cool. One, two, that is amazing. So they go now it's much heavier. Okay, that is good. But it is still pretty lightweight to hold it. Okay, so there is one power generator. There's a second one with the actual plug for smaller things like a laptop, maybe cell phone devices. No, this one would be cell phone devices and such with the USB, USB-C, charging up the batteries for the camera and things like that. That is amazing. Maybe drone batteries to charge up. There's a instructional. Great. There's a charger. Not big at all. That's good. There's the wires. There's a other adapters for looks like a solar panels. And also car generates electricity while we drive it, so it can plug in into a car. Uh, and recharge this power bank that's nice another one right here with two wires looks like this goes into those wires and goes into a solar panels and this side it will pops out like this plug in this way or it can plug in into the grid that's awesome Honestly, the best part about that, because we have two sets of batteries that goes into here, so four batteries. Now I can charge this and let's say I have a mini freezer camping. 
I can run that with the mini freezer while this charging. As soon as this uh, runs out of battery, all I have to do is press this and swap them out and charge these ones. And also when I carry it now, I can take it apart in one, two, three, four, five pieces and it's going to be a lot lighter to carry it. Or if it's not too bad, you can carry this two and this two. But I really love the interchangeable batteries. I don't have to buy two big power banks while one is charging and one is in use. I have two sets of batteries for the same size of power bank. One is uh, in use, one charging. If they all charging, I can get these ones and for much smaller things like a laptop, I can plug this in super easily. It goes in the back or maybe power up some smaller devices, batteries, I can plug this in as well. And use them all at once and then charge them overnight. Instead of plugging all the devices into one uh, power station, we have actually one, two, three power station. That is really smart to have. Let's turn it on. Beautiful display, it says 35%. That's awesome. Let's see what happens if I take out one of the batteries right here. It's still running. Wow. So it can run with one battery. Let me take out another battery, see what happens. Okay, now it shuts off. So it doesn't have to be plugged in both batteries. So I can replace one while my mini freezer or other technology being in used. Put that one on charge, then plug the charge battery in. It's still on. Then take this one out. It's still on. Replace with the charge battery in. That is so awesome. So I can constantly have energy once it turns out, replace it. Uh, and don't have to worry about my mini freezer or other things that I'm charging being shut off while I'm even replacing the batteries. That's amazing. We will use grid to recharge them. Okay, it beeped and blue, white light, and we have indicators blinking, charging. Okay, and the fans have kicked in. That's all we're going to expect. It's super simple. And now this blinking too. It's been about three or four hours and now it's fully charged. Pretty awesome. Okay, there is a flashlight. Pretty bright. Wow. High lumen. Okay, three uh, seconds. Does it tell us hours? 99 hours on the flashlight anyways. Output. Five. Pretty cool. And AC. Okay, let's run a blender to it. Um, 110 volt, 600 watt. Let's see if it does it. Right now, output almost nothing. It changes to three hours. Output is 140 watt. Now let's do on the second power, it will drop, obviously the hours will stay back up. More power. Wow, the two is less power. One is more power, okay. And it starts putting only 110 watts. So meaning if I'm gonna run this blender non-stop, uh, it will run for how many hours? Six hours. It's actually using less sometimes. That's pretty awesome. So yeah, very powerful. Obviously the laptops and uh, charging cell phones will take up way less power than one of these. 
so that's awesome so the only thing we want to watch out for we don't want to exceed 600 watts output to here so that is cool and again if i want to take one battery out let's see what happens it will run on one battery right now there is no battery right here only one battery let's plug it in let's see pretty awesome turn it off i love it it works well and it was running on one battery Lock it back in, replace new batteries, boom, turn it off, off. Very cool, I really like that, that's definitely the future of these electric generators.